hell we doing tonight? This is a, you know, a million dollar ideal. You know, the thing about this is uh, we all have thoughts that just run through our heads and ideals all the time. And uh, do you realize that some of these thoughts are most likely worth a lot more than the jobs we're on? I mean, you might have a thought or an idea come to you that if you could put legs to it, that it could become that million dollar ideal for you, if not more. You know, it may come in the form of some kind of invention just comes to your mind or your thought. If you can, you know, come up with a plan to bring that forth into the community, it could be invaluable to you you know a lot of times we just kind of take these thoughts for granted instead of try to build on them you know it could be that you would come up with a way that where you work to save your company lots of money or either make them a lots of money that they would be willing to pay you uh, because the ideals are so great and sound how you propose it and, and you know present it to them i'm not real sure but it's been done before you know the thing about it is and also if you think about all the things the government is doing today to make it hard for businesses to make it it's it's opening up vacuums for other businesses to step in and meet those needs i was thinking just about like i mean this is just a thought but you know if you got a bunch of restaurants that you can't go into unless you have some kind of pass then if you could come up with an ideal of putting outdoor seating that would fold up against the wall of the building when not in use, it could be folded down for all those people that didn't even want to go in the building, you know, if they wanted to sit there and eat. The thing about it is, you know, there's a lot of things that ideals that, that come to our mind. You know, a lot of times I've thought a lot of things about my car, you know, like, how people get ice in the winter, you know, covering that car, you know. Uh, in this case, I was thinking, like, you know, with some kind of plastic sheet over the windshield that, you know, but it had magnetic around it instead of, you know, where it wouldn't blow off, that it would just stick, you know, onto the windshield. And then they could just peel it off, roll it up, put it in a bag, be done with it in the morning, and not have to wait on ice all day to, un you know, melt off. I mean, there's ideals that come to all of us like that. Yeah, I haven't pursued a patent. I, you know, at my age, I really don't want to. But I do know that a lot of people are thinking out there, you know, that, you know, I can only make so much money, you know, an hour. And I would like to have more. I want to do more. I have more things I'd like to do. And it takes some resources to do that. Well, I just want to encourage you today that... You might have a million dollar ideal for a podcast. You might have a million dollar ideal for a recipe, you know, on YouTube or one of these other, you know, social media places. You might have a product that you could put out there that would bring you a million dollars. You know, it's just thinking about what you want to do and when the ideals come to your head and then trying to put legs to those or figuring out ways or plans to get you there to bring you into a, another dimension and what you've been living into living in especially if you've been poor and impoverished and you just want to find a way out of it then it might be a good time to start looking around and entertaining your ideals and thoughts a little closer and listening to what you know is passing through your mind there might be just that connection that you need to bring forth that ideal so tonight, I'm just putting this podcast out to encourage you that you might have a million dollar ideal in your head floating around. So grab it and do something with it if you can. Thank you.